like a microphone, the commenter said, and I tapped like because I wasn't entirely sure what he meant, but the comment stuck in my head. I remember when I was trying to feather the softbox, I had five figures in a row and figure two kept on being brighter than I wanted and figures four and five kept on being dimmer. And there was one point when I pushed figure two away and I pulled figures four and five forward in order to try to make them all the same brightness and I was cheating it just to see what would happen. And it created a curve that I didn't like because I had this preconceived idea that I should be able to get them all in a straight line. And I could have eliminated all of them but one and three and just had two figures and just said, look at how even they are. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kind of show off and do five figures all in a row. But it never really got quite as even as I hoped it would. I started to play around with gradients just to see what was really going on. So I made a, a gradient that falls off with distance in Photoshop, and I made another one that falls off with angle. And this one that falls off with angle, I can control with a levels adjustment so that I can let it not go any further than 180 degrees or any further than 90 degrees. And then I took the two gradients and I multiplied them by each other, now imagine what you're seeing is the right hand side of a f fall off of light or the sensitivity of sound of a microphone. And imagine that it's flipped to the left so that you're seeing you know, the whole thing, but I'm only showing you the right hand side. So if you look at a softbox, a softbox can't see more than 180 degrees, you know, plus or minus 90 degrees, because if you think about it, it's flat and it just doesn't cast light behind itself. Your fall off shape is going to be like that. A microphone can see behind itself or hear behind itself. So it creates this classic cardioid shape. If we make a threshold, now you can see that this is the classic softbox fall off. And this is the classic cardio cardioid fall off of a microphone. And so one of the things that I did was I took an actual softbox in, in Maxwell Renderer and I let it fall off on a plane. And then I looked to see how it was actually falling off uh, in space. And you can see that it forms that classic sort of softbox curve that I was getting here. So if you put a figure here and here, then you can get even lighting on those two figures. And you can say that's really what you're doing when you're feathering. It turns out that a softbox really is like a microphone in a lot of ways.